Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for watching today. Today is Thursday, and I'm so sorry if you're watching this live. I had some technical difficulty this morning with my internet here on my computer and rebooting my computer a few times. I figured I would do a little bit later in the day. So I'm sorry if you're seeing this recorded or if you're seeing, you know, not seeing this live because you're planning on 11 o'clock today. I promise I got the problems fixed and we'll be back live at the right time tomorrow, Friday at 11. But today, back to today. Today, we have two more rules of the Energy Bus by John Gordon. So we're going over uh, rule number seven and eight today. So I'm not going to keep you too long today since it's later in the day. But seven is enthusiasm attracts more passengers and energizes them during the ride. And number eight is love your passengers. So let me go into this. I'm going to turn this into a real estate twist. The book, if you've read the book, um, but if you're going to read the book, the it, it goes into more about team building and having a you know maybe like a company or have a team of people. But I'm going to turn this into more of my take on how to use it in real estate and with your clients. Because enthusiasm, not cheerleading, <laughs> enthusiasm a genuine enthusiasm for what you do in helping people buy and sell homes and helping their families and helping them move and helping them move on with their lives or start uh, get into the house or start a family or downsize, whatever you're doing. If you have enthusiasm for it, a love for it, it, it resonates. It, the people will pick up on that and they want to do business with you. So, um, you don't have to be a cheerleader, and I, my interpretation of enthusiasm is not doing cartwheels all the time, not being that that cheesy salesperson that you see in, in TV or in the movies, and and uh, you know that typical you know joking realtor that you know people make fun of in movies and TV shows of being that so energetic and so happy and just kind of annoying sometimes, but. That is very, sometimes that's shallow. You know, I've been this 28 years I've seen and met hundreds and thousands of realtors over my and career. And there's just a small percentage of there's just like that cheesy, <laughs> there's some of them out there, that cheesy, this uh, salesmanship and just sh all show and, and very, a lot of fluff and not a lot of depth to them. But people today, I feel more and more people today can, can really sense the enthusiasm, the love for what you have and what you do. And this is what I train all of, all of my agents and when I'm coaching is I say, it's not how many, it's not a numbers thing. Uh, it's how, what you did to help people and change their lives. So the point I'm getting is that use those stories when you're talking to other people. Example, quick when you run into someone and say, how's business going? Well, I sold three houses this, this week or month or whatever. I don't like that term. Sold three houses, sold two houses. So I've helped, I helped three families or I helped a, a, a single uh, gentleman or woman buy their first home or I helped a, a nice couple downsize, you know, they're empty nesters. I helped people. If you, Use those terminology, I helped people, because you do. Anybody could, not, not anybody, but a lot of people did sell houses, but did you really help someone? Did you consult with them? Did you, were you their trusted advisor? Did you understand them? Did you take the time to get to know their needs and wants and really help them find the right home or fi you know, find the right buyer for their house and make it easier to sell? What did you do to help people? So you use that kind of, verbiage and you're, when you're talking to other people, they'll see your face light up like, I got to, to help these people buy a house. They'll see that enthusiasm. They'll see that love that for what you do and not a numbers thing. If you just throw out numbers and what I love to see, and I have thousands of realtors, uh, you know, over 4,000 realtor friends on Facebook. And I enjoy seeing what has been cha changed over the last several years or 
use a lot now is the pictures of holding up a sign sold and and the people on their front porch smiling and happy it's so nice you know years ago we always be number driven like i sold 10 houses this week or i sold 20 or i'm number one in my office or i'm number you know i, I moved up here that's great between realtors but I personally don't like to put that ahead, that kind of numbers driven in front of your clients. I want you want to show them, you can show them that, but I always suggest show them the things that you, you love about the business is of the people and helping the people first and, and, and highlight that more to show that you of your love and enthusiasm for it. Also, of course, when you're running into people talking about real estate and, and, and networking with people and calling your past clients and prospecting and they're asking about real estate, have some good talking points of your enthusiasm for the business, not how many houses you're selling uh, and how much money you might be making because the market is, is better than what you thought. Just think of some things like, yeah, I, I had the, 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 the opportunity to really help a lot of families this year or a lot of people this year buy or sell a home. I'm very fortunate to enjoy uh, doing what I do every day and helping. If you show that how much you love for what they do, because then if those people are potential clients someday, uh, and hopefully they do, everybody you talk to is a potential client. That's what's great about real estate sales. Every single person is going to either buy, sell, rent in a house, unless they live in an apartment their whole lives, which rarely happens. So <laughs> everybody you talk to and you, and you just got to show them how much you enjoy what you do and show them the enthusiasm and they will follow you. They will, sh they will, they will want to deal with that because they want you to be that enthusiastic and, and have the love for what you do to help them when they're ready. And if you connect with them with that, they'll use you. And that's kind of where the next thing comes in. Love your passengers. So not um, now I'm going to again put my real estate twist and sales on this. What this means is about love your pastors. I, I took this as and um, is get to know them, show them that you care, uh, really know that you want to help them. You know, don't take on a client or even prospect on someone that you don't want to have a relationship with. Uh, that's going to be too shallow. There's many people out there who will need your help and love your passengers. If you love your passengers, you get to know them, show them that you care about them. Take the time to, over the years or between the time, of, between them buying, before you meet them or when you meet them to the time they buy a house or sell a house with you. And that period could be weeks, months, years of prospecting and keeping contact with people. Get to know them. So you can't just sit there and make phone calls. Hi, you need to buy a house and clothes. Hi, you you looking out? No, you got to build a relationship with the people. And these kind of two rules kind of go hand in hand. It goes, you know, uh, you show them your enthusiasm on what you love to do and how you love to do it, and they'll want to do business with you. And then love your passengers. Love. Show them that you would love to work with them and get to know them and get to know what they're going to be looking for in the future. Most people, I think, have an idea when, when they think they might buy a house uh, or sell their house, what the reason might be at that time. Like a, a lot of people are like, well, I want to you know, downsize someday. It might be between now and this time. Well, great. You know, start building a relationship about how, you know, that, that you could help them do that and give them information over the years of where they might go. Right now, I'm hearing from a lot of my agents that they're starting to get uh, a little more inquiries from the their their database because people are seeing the houses sell around them quickly within days at higher prices than they thought. And they might go, hmm, I might want to sell uh, because I want, I want top dollar for my house and I, it might, I might speed up the process. So not to go off on a tangent there, this is the time to start calling your database more often because some people might be moving a lot quicker on that. And also if, uh, if the rates, the rates are historical lows, if they start ticking up a little bit, 
Sometimes people go, oh, they're not at the lowest yet. Maybe we want to make that move now. So any newer agents or an agent who might not have thought of that over their career, there are certain times that people speed up the process. They didn't even think about it. Like, well, I could get top dollar for my house and the rates are coming up a little bit. So I might want to get top dollar for my house and get the lowest rates before they go up even more. So, and up even more could be a half a point, a half a percent to some people. That's like uh, earth shattering to them and they might want to buy quicker. But um, again, back to those two rules is that show them the enthusiasm, love your passengers, love your clients, love your database, show them that you care, get to know them when you're building a relationship with them. Remember, there's uh, there's two things is that I, I stress to agents is that you should not be scared of calling your database to see what's going on. Because the second thing is you're not selling them something. You're not selling them like a product or you're not trying to convince them to invest their money with you, or you're not convincing them to get a different insurance policy. When they're ready, they're ready. You're calling to build a relationship with them. Like, hi, how are you? What's new? Is anything going on in your life? If you, you need my help with anybody or know anybody that needs my help. Um, so you're always expressing how people need your help and how you want to help them and show them the enthusiasm behind that. Because you're not going to convince somebody to buy something that they, you know, if they're not ready to buy or sell a house. This is not that type of sales. I firmly believe that. Some people don't disagree. I feel that you as an agent, as their trusted advisor, are just checking up on them to see if they need anything from you or want any information from you. When they're ready and they're then you are there and have built that relationship with them to, to remind them that they call you. So you should never feel scared of calling your, your database of people just to check in to see if they need anything or want anything uh, of your services and, and on the things that you love to do and if they know anybody. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't feel scared about that. I've never had anybody, any of my agents in all of these years say that uh, the, obviously the people that uh, are just upset and sad in life and just are not in a good place in their life might get upset because they keep, they call them over a couple, every couple months or something. But those people are not upset about you calling them they're upset about their lives and things like that because you just call the check in on them to see how you're doing that's how i feel about prospecting calls and connecting with so you shouldn't be scared and guess what the, the the best news about when you call someone that that's not as upset you call them one less person you have to call the next time <laughs> so it's 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 as easy as that so Hopefully I didn't go off too much of a tangent there, but I love what I do. I love training. I love ideas. I could go on for hours. Of, and you see, I always go on in different tangents on how it connects with everything. I just love that. But remember, these two rules is, set, uh, is uh, eight was love your passenger and seven was be enthusiastic for what you do. And uh, that's it for today. Don't want to take up too much of your time. And tomorrow we're going to go through eight, nine, uh, nine and ten, the last two uh, rules of the energy bus. And hopefully you got it. Hopefully you get a chance to read it. And it's a nice, quick, easy read. So that's it for today. Have a wonderful Thursday. And we'll see you tomorrow morning on Friday. Bye-bye.